Welcome back to another segment of Mastering Phlebotomy. Today we're going to perform a blood culture procedure. First off, we'll start off by applying the tourniquet three to four inches above the site of incision. Today we're going to use the antecubital fossa and we will palpate for one of the three primary veins. With your blood culture bottle, you will take the cap off of the blood culture bottle and clean the top of the blood culture bottle with 70% alcohol for 20 seconds in using concentric circles. Please clean the top of the blood culture bottle thoroughly and allow the alcohol prep pad to sit on top of the blood culture bottle. Next, you are going to select your butterfly needle device and connect your 23 gauge size butterfly that we're using today and assemble the secondary needle into your vacutainer holder. The most crucial aspect of blood culture collection is this is an aseptic procedure. We want to make sure that the site is the venipuncture site is completely clean and it must be sterile. So with that being said, we are going to clean the venipuncture site twice using two antiseptics. The first antiseptic that we will use is 70% alcohol. Please clean the site for 20 seconds using 70% alcohol in concentric circles. And then we will use chlorhexidine. This prep pad is called a chlora prep. It's a sponge applicator device. You'll snap the wings on the device, give it a little shake, and press and clean the site, or as we say, scrub and prep the site with the chlorhexidine prep pad for 20 seconds in concentric circles. Allow the venipuncture site to dry prior to performing the venipuncture collection. Please do not repalpate the site. The gloves that we are wearing are examination gloves. They are not sterile gloves. So if you were to repalpate that site, you would contaminate the site, which means that you would have to prep and clean the venipuncture site again with 70% alcohol and the chlorhexidine. Reapply your tourniquet. Prepare, prepare for the venipuncture procedure. Insert the needle at a 5 to 10 degree angle of insertion. Watch for the back flash. And then attach the vacutainer holder to the neck of the blood culture bottle and allow the blood to flow into the blood culture bottle. With the blood culture that we're collecting, we will need anywhere between one to three mLs of blood. Retract your needle. Apply gauze to the venipuncture site. Assess the site to make sure that it has stopped bleeding. And at this point in time, you can apply your Coflex bandage to the venipuncture site to prepare for a discharge of the patient. Make sure that you have collected enough blood in your blood culture bottle. Invert the bottle a couple of times in preparation for patient identification labeling and sent to microbiology. Thank you for today's procedure.